one. Hey guys, Jim at Rainwater Equipment and Rain Harvesting Supplies here. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a float switch with a submersible pump. In this case, the pump that we're demonstrating is a DAB BHP 1000. This pump will do about 10 gallons a minute at about 62 PSI, uh, 15 gallons a minute around 50 PSI, a little higher flows than that at lower pressures as well. It's what they call a dumb pump and that is because it only runs if you send power to it. Uh, On-demand pumps, conversely, will turn on and off based on drop in pressure or increase in pressure, so when they build pressure in the lines, they know when to turn off. This pump just runs. It doesn't know when to turn off unless you interrupt the power, and that's what a float switch does. So uh, what we've got here, again, is the power cable for the pump. We have a float switch and a power supply which is this extension cord that I have wired to a 110 volt plug. This demonstration and this float switch wiring example is not appropriate for 220 volt power, only for 110, 115 volt uh, setups. So the idea is that you're going to want the float when it's in the up position to turn the pump on and it will run until the float drops and the contactor inside the float breaks the circuit causing the pump to turn off. So we have uh, some wires here that we've put together. You have to wire the pump to the float switch and to the power supply. I won't go into detail on exactly how that's done, but on the product page uh, for the BHP 1000, if you search our website, I'll include the wiring diagram and some detailed instructions on how to uh, do that. So uh, the float switches that we sell uh, come with a uh, cable weight like this one and uh, that allows the float to actually pivot off of something that hangs in the tank. So you can raise and lower this cable weight to whatever level you want, and you can have this have a, a more of a wider pivot like this, or something shorter like this uh, to, to activate the pump. Uh, you can also, in some cases, use like a piece of half inch PVC pipe and attach the float to that if your float switch doesn't come with a cable weight. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power on by plugging it in and we'll demonstrate. So currently the pump is in the down position telling it uh, to turn off because we don't want it to dry run but when water re-enters the water tank the pump turns back on because the contactor has activated the circuit. It's not great to run a pump uh, when there's no water in it so we won't do that for very long and then of course the, the float is in the down position. Again back up it turns the pump back on. So this again is a normally open pump down float switch. It has a 16 foot cable, but we also supply them with 33 foot cables and 56 foot cables. And again, the BHP 1000 from DAB. And I am Jim with Rainwater Equipment and Rain Harvesting Supplies. If you need more information on this setup or would like to ask questions, give us a call at 877-331-7008 or check us out at rainwaterequipment.com.